is Allison. Here at Kilo Century Locks, we carry over 50 different types of locks, so sometimes picking the right one may seem a little hard. But it's easy, really. All you have to do is ask yourself a few simple questions. First, you have to decide whether you want a mechanical or an electrical lock. A mechanical lock is a lock that does not use any batteries or wires. Instead, when you press the button, it physically moves the parts inside of the lock. Mechanical locks are inexpensive, very reliable, and most come with a lifetime warranty, but they can only be programmed with one code at a time. Some models even have an optional key override, as this one does, so if you forget the code and don't have another way of entering the building, you can open the lock with a key. An electrical lock is one that uses batteries or is directly wired into the electricity of a building. Electrical locks have many uses, uh, such as lighted keypads, audit trails, fingerprint recognition, video cameras, and also remote programming and control. Electrical locks cost a little more, but they can be programmed with many user codes, which can be added or deleted individually. Some can even be set up with codes that will work on certain days or between certain hours. Some electrical locks also have remote key tags, which can come in handy. Once you've decided whether you want a mechanical or an electrical lock, you have to decide whether you want a deadbolt or a latchbolt lock. A lock with a deadbolt has to be locked manually each time you close the door. To lock the lock, all you have to do is just turn the knob, and as you can see, it extends this deadbolt. To unlock, you've got to enter the code from the outside, one, two, six, seven, and then just turn this knob. From the inside, all you do is you turn the little thumb turn, and it will unlock and lock the deadbolt without a code. Like a deadbolt lock, the lock with a latch bolt will lock every time you close the door. This means once the door is closed, you can be sure it is secure. You will need to know a valid code in order to open it. Once you've chosen between a mechanical and an electrical lock and a deadbolt or latch bolt, the next thing to decide on is what kind of stand, uh, handle you want. You can choose either a knob or a lever. A knob has a round, flat knob on the outside and usually a small thumb turn on the inside. A lever handle has a lever handle on the inside and the outside black body. Okay, the last decisions are pretty straightforward. You need to decide whether you want a single-sided or a double-sided lock. The single-sided lock has the keypad on the outside, and on the inside it's just got a simple inside lock body. The double-sided lock has a keypad on both sides. This is usually used for gates um, or places where there's windows where people can reach through. And as, a, and as you can see, it's got the keypad on both sides. The last thing to consider is whether you need a marine grade lock. Marine grade locks have a Teflon finish to specifically protect against salt water environments. If you're not around salt water, just go with the regular finishes. So by now, you, hopefully you've decided on whether you need an electrical or a mechanical lock, a deadbolt or a latch bolt, what kind of handle you want, um, if you need a single-sided or a double-sided, and also if you need a marine grade finish lock. Now you're ready to use our website to get more information. Choosing the perfect lock is as easy as that, but if you still have questions, please feel free to give us a call. We'd love to help. That's what we're here for.